friends. Summer is all done. And now it's fall or autumn. And I picked this book to read, Let It Fall. It's not a real story. It's pretend with drawn illustrations. It's a fictional book. But it's called Let It Fall. And the front cover caught my eye because it looks like they're having fun. And I know it's fall or autumn because the leaves are changing different colors. They're wearing long sleeves and long pants, which tells me it's chilly outside. Let's see what fun they're gonna have in the fall. Let It Fall by Marianne Cocker Leffler. Let it fall, it's autumn. Eat, oh, early mornings, crisp and cool. Meet new friends back at school. Hmm, school looks a little different this year. They're still at home. Mounds of color raked up high. Jump right in and watch the sky. But then, chilly, windy, gusty breeze, rake, rake, rake the blowing leaves. <laughs> Looks like fun. Let it fall. Apple picking, mountain air. Our next stop, the country fair. Hay rides, contests, jumping fun. The winning pumpkin weighs a ton. He got a blue ribbon with a number one. It must be the biggest pumpkin at the fair. But then, brother stroller piled high, cold and tired, say goodbye. Let it fall, hiking, camping, what a view. Trees of orange, skies of blue. Squirrels gather, foxes hide, black bears sleep, and sparrows fly. But soon, cold and frosty, tall bare trees, toes and fingers feel the freeze. Brr, it got cold. This said bare trees, that means naked. No leaves. Look at that. No leaves left on that tree. It's bare. Hats to knit, scarves to make, waiting for our first snow flake. Winter is coming. Let it snow. After autumn will be winter. Not yet. Later. When it gets colder. Maybe you could go for a walk today and look around at the trees and see if you notice any signs of fall. <laughs>